It's been a very difficult start to the football season. We've lost a lot of good players, and with that, a lot of great fantasy teams. We'd like to take a moment to honor all those taken from us far too soon. All right, enough airtime for losers. My fantasy team, Brady's Bunch of Kisses, is alive and well. Let's f go! Welcome on in to Call It A Night. This is the show that doesn't know if it's sports or if it's comedy, but we do know it's a lot of fun. I'm your host, Julie Stewart-Pinks. We have a very special episode today for all you kiddies. We welcome an ESPN sports broadcasting legend, my good friend, Trey Wingo. And Trey, a very happy birthday to you. Thank you, Julie Stewart-Pinks. It is nice to be with you on your set of your new extravaganza. My apartment. It looks great. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Where's the bar car? Uh, it's outside, but we'll we'll bring it in. We can wheel it in. Break. Okay. Yeah, Anything good. for you, especially on your birthday. We are kicking off the year of Trey and style. style. We're going to dive into everything Wingo, test our oh. knowledge of history, and talk football predictions, of course. But first, let's get to tonight's headlines. With the benching of quarterback Eli Manning for Daniel Jones, the Giants are ignoring their real problems and just going for a younger, hotter guy with a bigger social media presence, or what the rest of us call being a cougar. No word yet on what they plan to do at linebacker, wide receiver, corner, safety, defensive end, probably like towel boy at this point. Sure. Now, with the New York Jets quarterback Sam Darnold out indefinitely with mono, the team is taking precautions to make sure Darnold is completely isolated. It's like last season where he was nowhere near his receivers. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> Darnold watched Monday Night Football from his parents' house and said when he saw Trevor Simeon go down with a leg injury, he, quote, went into his room and started screaming into a pillow and punching my pillow as hard as I could. If you don't get teenage angst and listen to My Chemical Romance, did you even have mono? <laughs> After an elbow injury, Steelers quarterback Ben Roethlisberger will sit out the entire year for the first time in 16 seasons. The Steelers now turn to backup rookie quarterback Mason Rudolph. Problem is, they won't let him join in in any reindeer games. It's a Christmas joke. <laughs> oh. is, it, is it that? I, we, haven't got to, we haven't got to Halloween yet. How are we speed rolling past Thanksgiving? Oh, I love the Rudolph, you know. We got to get in there. Gotcha. So bad. The 2019 Major League Baseball season has flown by, and in just over a month, baseball fans everywhere will get a chance to enjoy the World Series, or as the 49 and 103 Baltimore Orioles call it, fantasy camp. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. Yankees reliever Dylan Batanzas partially tore his Achilles in his return to the mound, sending him back to the IL where he's been all season. The Yankees have now set a major league record with 30 players on the injured list. They've gone through more guys than Taylor Swift. She didn't want them anyways, okay? Mets rookie Pete Alonso hit another home run in a win against the Rockies, keeping the Mets' playoff hopes alive. Queens is bursting with optimism that the Mets will let them down a little later than usual this year. That, that's that's pretty good. That was a good one. I mean, it's like, it's it's the gift that keeps on giving. There are very few consistencies in life, and Mets failures are one of them. <laughs> Bingo. Toronto Blue Jays second baseman Kevin Biggio hit for the cycle Tuesday, just 17 years after his father Craig did the same thing. Though it was a banner night for the rookie, the most memorable moment was when Kevin was picked off trying to outrun his father's shadow. I'm sure he could take it out from Vlad as well on the same team. The New York Liberty landed the first pick in the WNBA draft lottery, going 17-51 and 51 during the 2019 season. Unsurprisingly, it's been the worst year for women's liberty since last year. America's kind of crazy right now. 
Steph Curry told reporters he plans on playing in the Olympics next summer. Curry said he's confident that the Americans can still reign supreme when they put their best players on the floor, unless, of course, it's in Oakland. Boom! Toronto oh. Raptors, baby! Oh, Kawhi love there. I yeah, got it. Yeah, I mean, got to get it while he's, like, I mean, it's not a new season Well, he yet. technically hasn't put on a uniform for the other team. Yeah, he's still, I guess, yeah. You're, it's, it's, you're it's, over it? It's, no, I'm not over it. It's right. going to be a soft is, spot is, is all Kawhi year. Is Kawhi Plant guy good? Do we know if he's all right? Yeah, well, that's who's our new guy going forward, I think. <laughs> what, what, what could possibly be the difference? He's going to play. He's going to yeah. play. All right, with that, let's get this party started. We're going to take a quick time, time out, but when we return, we're going to dive into everything, Wingo. Me and him will battle for glory, and we're going to get some top-notch sports predictions. Don't go anywhere, baby! Folks, welcome on back to Call Tonight. We are so honored to be joined by sports broadcasting legend Trey Wingo, ESPN NFL Live host, co-host of Golik and Wingo, literally does everything. Thank you for being with us here today on your birthday, nonetheless. Well, I, yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I think you're a little generous in your description, but it's always fun to be here. Always good to see you. Yeah, well, I mean, this is this is a big deal for us here on Call It a Night, and you know so much about NFL. We've got if only people that knew me felt that way. <laughs> Well, you can come be our NFL expert Done. insider on our show. All Done. right, take that ESPN. Um, but we've had so many interesting storylines uh, so far. Like, what stands out to you first three weeks as, as the biggest thing? Well, the crazy thing is just, like, the total mass, right? Uh, okay, Here, here's how crazy it's been so far to start the NFL season. Like, we're, we're with the Antonio Brown story, we're like, yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah. Okay? I mean, we've got Ben injured. We've got Drew Brees injured. We've got Eli Manning bench. We've got Jalen Ramsey wanting a trade. We've got the Dolphins saying, oh, for 16, we're good with it. Yeah. You know, it's it's remarkable that you you sort of, over, oh, yeah, that Antonio Brown thing. That was like a few days ago, right? We'll get to that with all the, the levels of that ridiculousness, uh, for lack of a better term. The sheer tonnage of news is, I think, Worn out both the ligaments and Adam Schefter's thumbs. Oh, yeah. With all the tweeting it's, and breaking news he's doing. And he even put out something today about how young the quarterbacks are. Well, it's interesting weekend. you brought that up because this is, again, I'm totally doing the football nerd things, so I apologize Great, for we love dragging it. the show down. <laughs> uh, but there are, I think he said there are 18 quarterbacks starting this week, 26 or younger. The last time that happened is 87. That yeah. in itself would be weird. 87 was a strike year. So you had all these guys coming in as replacement players. So really, in like what would be considered a normal NFL, it'd be like 50, 60 years where we've wow. seen something like this. So it's it's nuts what's it's going very on. Very unprecedented. You yeah. mentioned Antonio Brown. You know, we're we're a new show. I have a broadcast background, but we sort of uh, we don't necessarily know how to talk about it because no. there's so much still to be uncovered. Coming from a professional standpoint, like wh how how do you guys figure out what to do with it? Well, you know, it's one of those things where I, for a for a variety of reasons on both sides, you want to tread very lightly because in those situations, nobody knows except the people that were in the room, right? right? So I and I can't speak for anybody else and I don't want to speak for anybody else, but from my perspective, like this is what this person is saying, this is what the rebuttal is, there's an investigation and we'll let it go. And, that's it, yeah. and, and you say on, on, on the actual issues. Now you can have a debate about whether or not he should have been signed whether or not he should have been suspended by the league. For example, the Tyreek Hill situation, mm -hmm. when, it, when it came out and that video came out where he used a very inappropriate word talking about his, uh, his fiance or girlfriend and, and the mother of their child, you could have said because of past instances with, uh, with Tyreek Hill and that woman, that, that verbiage alone might have been enough to merit a suspension, right. but they chose not to. And the investigation is very murky because nobody's cooperating and they're trying to figure that part of it out. And, you know, the Patriots had said, well, if we'd known this, we wouldn't have signed him. Well, you know it now. Yeah. You know, so, so that part, I think, is fair. But, but the idea of, like, I, I have no idea what happened. And mm -hmm. I don't want to pretend like I know. Uh, all I know is that there's clearly some issues with Antonio Brown that I've heard about in the past and are coming out to light in that Sports Illustrated article. And there's, there's a lot of things that you need to factor on how much you want to bring in. Because, look, in the NFL and almost in any sport, the more you can do, the longer the leash you're going to get. Right. He's a freaking good player. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, there's only one person in the history of the NFL that has six straight 100-catch seasons. It's Antonio Brown. That's the end of the list. 
So you're going to get a lot more leeway, but there's also going to be how much baggage are you willing to put mm -hmm. up with. Yeah, and it looks like probably quite a bit right now. Well, it's like, uh, you know, going on the Titanic cruise when they showed yeah. up with the truckloads of luggage. It's yeah. a lot of baggage. Yeah, they're bringing a lot to, yeah. to first class, at least, of the Patriots. Now, right. we've talked a lot about some of these different teams, but what do you think is right now maybe a, a team we haven't talked about that should deserve a little bit more attention? Well, I don't think a lot of people are talking about uh, the Ravens. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, people are looking at what Lamar Jackson is doing, but you have, whenever Dallas is doing well, they take up so much oxygen in the room. And you know, the Dak Prescott contract after the Zeke Elliott contract, they go out there and just kick butt on both Washington and New York. So that's going to draw a lot of attention. The Ravens are playing really, really well. And Lamar Jackson last year was not a good thrower. Uh, I think week one, he was 17 to 20. Last week, he became the first player in NFL history to have a game which he threw for over 250 and ran for over 120. There's a bunch of people that had done it at up to 120. No one had done more. So he's doing things very differently than he did last year. Right. And the improvement from him from year to year. We had uh, Mark Andrews, the Ravens tight end, on our show today. And that's been remarkable to see his progress. So the, I think people's eyes are fixated on Dallas for a variety of reasons. Uh, and the train wreck that right now are, is both New York football teams. I mean... Mm -hmm. Woof. Yeah. It's bad on both fronts. A lot of stories, fronts. but a lot of... Not the stories you want. No, no. Especially um, if you're so a the Ravens, I think, are an interesting team. They've only played, obviously, like the Cardinals who are, are, are winless, uh, and Miami is like a layup. Yeah, I, mean, I know. But, I mean... It's like a mini buy. It yeah, is. The Dolphins so cool. We'll take the week off. <laughs> well, we know you're gonna you're gonna be golfing later today, but you yes. were working this morning yes. on your radio show, Golik and Wingo. Yes. You guys, I mean, I this is sort of how I became friends with you. I listened Correct. to your show, and I had a morning radio show. Right. You you seem to very seamlessly fill the role that was for years this this staple of Mike and Mike. Yeah. What has the I mean, how has that process been like? Like when you came in, what was sort of your mentality? Um. You know, I I also. Filled in, uh, not filled in, I also, re I don't want to say replaced. When Boomer stopped doing the draft, Chris right. Berman, they asked me to do that too. Um, to me, it's very similar. Like, the house is there, just don't set it on fire. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, uh, my job on both those things is don't walk in with gasoline and accelerant and a blowtorch, yeah. right? And, and then I think it'll be okay, because the, the house that Mike and Mike built on, on ESPN Radio and the platform is already there. You know, Golik and I have known each other forever. We live literally a mile and a half away. Oh, nice. Uh, and when I was when NFL Live first started in 2003, I think the main show was me, Mike, and Sean Salisbury. And that would be the rotation with a bunch of other people. So the relationship, like, with Mike and I was already there. So that was the easy part. Like, as you well know, looking at the alarm clock and going, what the oh, bleep? Gosh. You know, that, that's been the difficult part. Like, really, again today? <laughs> and the way I describe it to people is like, how do you do it? And it's like... You know that, that, that night before you have an early morning flight and you're worried you're going to miss it so you never sleep? That would be every night. Oh, my that, God. That's so, that's, but you know you I did know, it. I know, I it's, know. It doesn't just, get easier. No, I was talking to, to Mike Breen, who does the NBA with us, and he said, hey, you know, how's it going on the mornings? And I started to do that. Oh, you know, I'm getting used to it, blah, blah, blah. And he said, Trey, I did I Miss in the Morning for 15 years. And never once when the alarm did off, when the alarm went off did I go, I feel great. Yeah. Let's go. It's just you know? not natural. It's you just, know? it's just, and Mike Golick, my God, he's like a cat. Like he's literally, like he could, I'm gonna fall asleep, and he could fall asleep right away, and he'll be out for eight hours, and it's like getting him out of a coma. You know, it's like Mike, wake up, we have to do a show. <laughs> you know, I'm like this in bed. Well, the three of you guys do well, and I mean, yeah. you're on with uh, two family members, and now you're the third, essentially. Yeah. I in get there. punched a lot from Notre Dame. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Well, I have plenty more questions, but we got to take a quick time though. When we return. It's Trey's birthday. Yes, We're it is. We're gonna play a little game, uh, test our knowledge of what's older. And oh, we'll fun! Yes, <laughs> make fun of the old guy. Woo! <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Mike Lockyer. And since today is Trey's birthday, we're going to play a game called Which is Older? I'm going to name a well-known item. And Julie Stewart Binks and Trey Wingo have to decide which is older, that item or Trey. <laughs> we'll tally up the points for right answers, and whoever has the most points wins a prize. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm just going to say me on all of these. Is this like oh, USA no. versus Canada, like the NBA it Finals? Is. 
And feel, you know who won yeah, that one? I feel one. bad about how let's this is going to go. go. <laughs> All right, let's go. We're ready. Here we go. Trey, you're the birthday boy. You're up first. Okay. Trey, which is older, you or zip codes? No, I'm going to go with zip codes, Alex. Wow, zip codes is right. Hey, zip codes hey, are older, go. but barely, Trey. <laughs> okay, only by two months, July 1963. You barely got that is one. It really that? That's, I thought it was there, much longer. There it is. Yes! <laughs> Julie, which is older, Trey or the ATM? Oh, uh, Trey. Trey is yeah. older. ATMs were first installed in London. How do you? That they hurts. seem Give really new age. That hurts. All right. All right. All right, Trey. Which is older, you or Mr. Potato Head? Wow. I'm gonna go push. Oh. Push. Yeah. What's? The, uh, no, I'll say I'll you say gotta, Mr. Potato Head. That's well. There you go. Now you're right. Yeah. Now you're right. His birthday, 1952. Oh, All right, there we so, go. Let's go. All right, I know this is two, two dummies there. Yeah. I can't believe everyone's getting these right. All right, Julie, which is older, Trey or AstroTurf? Um, I'm gonna go with Trey. Trey is older. Oh. AstroTurf. <laughs> So depressing. AstroTurf was invented in 1964. Oh, we, it's just a baby. Yeah, it's a little I mean, little guy. Mommy, sure. come get me. We're tied up here at two, Trey. Okay. We're gonna, yeah, let's let's, All right. let's get competitive here, folks. Screw you. Trey, there it is. <laughs> Trash talking. Trey, which is older, you or Jiffy Pop Popcorn? Wow. Uh, is real talk? Please, God, <laughs> let it be Jiffy Pop Popcorn. <sighs> Jiffy Pop is older! Yay! Yeah, yeah. oh, invented 1958. Yeah. 3-2. <laughs> Trey, pulling ahead here. Julie, which is older, Trey or Gatorade? Oh, I feel like I'm getting all the same, uh... I, I'm being put in a really bad position right now. No, this okay. is great. This, this is, is just, actually there's good. no planning in any of my questions. Okay. Not at I'm all. I'm going to go with Gatorade. Gatorade is not older. Oh. Trey is older. Yeah, that she came tried. out in like 66, I think, or 65. <laughs> 65. Well done. You know, you already knew all is, this Do stuff I get euthanized after this segment? <laughs> I'm just curious. Is that no, nope, this is just, we're just geez. bashing okay. it. Sorry. <laughs> we love old people. Come over. to call it a night. Sorry, what? Just, I, I didn't hear you. <laughs> Really big into experience. old people. Experience. experience. All right, experience. back on track here. Trey, which is older, you or Tab Cola? I think it's me. <sighs> Tab Cola is older oh. really? by four months. Really? Yeah. You guys even know what Tab? Pull. Does anybody pull know ever had a taste of a Tab Cola? No. Yeah. Nope. No. Nope. I hate you all. Have you, ha have you had a taste I of Tab Cola? I can Cola. sing the Tab Cola jingle. Let's go. Wow, I wow. Can. I didn't say I would. <laughs> also, Fair enough. We, we probably can't put that on air anyway. True. <laughs> Julie, you can tie it up right here. Okay. Which is older, Trey or the Minnesota Vikings? Oh, um, Trey. Wrong. The Minnesota oh! Vikings are older. <laughs> that one. They first took the field in 1961. Oh. All right, Man. Trey. Yes. Which is it. older? Yeah. I know how you, you know how this goes. Yeah. You or the TV remote control? Oh, I think that's me. You're in luck. The TV remote control <laughs> is older. <laughs> Am I in luck? I just lost I don't know. I in question. Yeah. Oh yeah, good point. Right but you know, I'm trying to make you feel yeah. better. What's the score right now? I think I'm. It is three two tray. So you can tie it up with this one. <laughs> You're like, wait a second. <sighs> Either way, here we go. You're winning. Tie by it one. up. Okay. Which is older, tray or the Barbie doll? Um, Barbie. Barbie is oh, older. Yeah. Tied up yeah. game. 1959 is Barbie's birthday year. Here we go. My sister's birthday year, by the way. She was not okay. the model for the Barbie doll. Okay. Okay. All right. Neither is she. Any, neither is anybody. Older, and yeah. is any human being. Yeah. That, is, that is true. Trey, yeah. which is older? You or the NFL rule stating you cannot grab another player's face mask? Um... Well, that's a really good question <laughs> because there were players in the late 50s that still weren't playing with face masks. Bobby Lane of the Lions comes to mind. I'm going to say the face mask rule is older. Ding, 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 ding. The yes. face mask rule is older. That's good. God. Trey, wow, that's you are the winner. Is that it? You oh, have won, wow. and we have a prize for you. Why do I feel like I just lost as soon as the moment this segment began? Oh, Listen. You 
You're great. You were great. great. It's your uh, birthday. You you won. Yeah. Let's bring the, the prize out here. Yeah. Is prize. Oh, it is your birthday. Oh. It's a birthday cake. And it's a birthday cake. Birthday. That's Happy very nice. Happy birthday, Trey. You guys are awesome. Thank you so, very much. So it would have been weird had I won. Yeah. Yeah. Did mine. you have a second cake? <laughs> no. No. He, she was gonna get your. That birthday was it. Cake. Okay. Yeah. I'm not much of a host, you know. Can yeah. I take the jacket though? Uh, yeah. 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 Apparently we'll trade it's afterwards. Yours, so, it's yeah. it's not mine. <laughs> it was found in a bar. I found it in a bar. All right. Well, so is the cake actually, which is yes, really weird. It is, and yeah. we're gonna eat that. And when we return, thank you so much, Mike. Great job. Great. Job great, uh, great announcer voice, Mike. Thank you. We're going to be Thank back you. with some NFL predictions. You don't want to miss this. We know what we're talking about here. All that more next on Call It a Night. <laughs> what up, everybody? I'm Adam Lufko, and I had to call it a night. What the f was that? <laughs> Welcome on back. We're just about to call it a night, but first we got to make some predictions on what's going to happen this weekend in the NFL. It was a real hoot and nanny last week. What's going to happen next? For that, we're going to bring in a guy who knows his stuff here. Call it a night. Our resident expert. He's like basically a psychic. Mike Lockyer. Get back here. He's wearing lots of hats here at this place today. All right. That's true. And Great. a lot of hair gel. Great. You got to know, Mike. By the way, Hoot Nanny and I'm the old Hoot Nanny. Hoot Shenanigans. Are you going to go Sam Hill and for Pete's sake? Oh, yeah. yeah. We're, so we're going to have a real box My social golly. later tonight. <laughs> Yo, let's get the old music going. Uh, Mike is so good at this kind of okay. stuff. He's like unflappable. Yep. Every pool, parlay prop. He's like numero uno. So... I'm locked in. Okay. I'm, locked yeah. in. I'm ready. Let's just say I wouldn't pick, uh, you know, Cincinnati over San Fran. Okay. Yeah, no. Like someone. Like did. I did. <coughs> Ooh, all right. Let's, uh, let's it's time for lock picks. <laughs> all right. So, uh, Patriots have the Jets. Uh, Mike, are the Pats going to go 3 0 this weekend? Oh, the Pats 3 0, 3 0, 3 0, 3 0. Yes. I don't care what he says. The answer oh. is yes. Okay, very interesting. Okay. Very, no, very interesting. Let me see what I got here. <laughs> um, better not tell you now. Yeah. Better not tell you now. Yeah, you want to make it a really interesting pick? Will they cover the spread? Will they cover the spread? Yeah, let's see. You may rely on it. There you wow. go. So, okay, historically, that would be a first. Bill Belichick is a 20-point favorite, 0-4. Whoa. Against wow. the spread. I mean, okay, he won so the games. 0-4 covering the spread. That's a great pick, then. Good yeah. insight there, Mike. Yeah, well, outlook not so good. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Okay. All right, okay. Well, let's let's see if we got another one. Um, are the Cowboys going to beat the Dolphins this weekend? Cowboys, Dolphins? <laughs> you guys are going for all the toughies. Yeah. I could tell, I could tell you what's going to happen here. Reply hazy, try again. Yeah, try, yeah. you know what, try again. Okay. Try again. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I think that's what we're saying to Miami in 2020. You guys try again. Yeah. That's what that's Miami is saying to Miami. <laughs> I got nothing. All oh, right. wait, signs are pointing to yes. Sorry, okay, that's, what, that's okay. what I meant All to right. say. Ooh. Signs are pointing okay. to yes. It makes more sense. All right, yeah. uh, Trey, do you, do you have a question for our expert here? No. You got no questions? No. All right, come on. What about, you know... Uh, okay, all right, all right, here's the deal. Will the Jets on go into a fourth quarterback for week four? Oh, oh. Will, 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 will they fail for fails is what I want to know. Reply, Hazy, try again. Sir, just, just, uh, just ask it just, one more just time. Ask it one just, more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, will the Jets fail for fails? Outlook, not so good. There it is. There it is. Okay, so that's either they will or they won't. It, oh, really? Listen, sure. That's why they sell a million of those days. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> that's exactly how. What you're going to get, Trey, before you get going. Yeah. You know, it's your birthday. Yeah. You've been such a great help for me oh, and my career. No, I uh, a year ago, I was. Sitting on a beach with drinks, and now I'm sitting in a studio with drinks. And, so the key uh, is drinking. Yeah, I got a bit of a Why it worked, I if guess. you look at me, that's what I'm saying. Um, what, you know, you've, you've posted so many things. Just yeah. give us one quick advice. What would you tell for our show here today? Rent. Like, like the musical rent, or? Maybe you don't buy. Okay, all right, wow. <laughs> I'm kidding, well, we'll I'm kidding, it's that. going to be great. We're you guys are going to be awesome. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Trey, happy birthday. This has been great, thank you for joining us. Um, guys, thank you for watching Call It A Night. We have got tons of great stuff coming up next week. You don't want to miss it. We've got Ryan Neese, we've got Nelson Figueroa. Make sure you catch us, FuboSportsNetwork.com, FuboTV, everywhere, Instagram, Twitter. We'll see you later. Call it a night, baby.